All right, everyone. Um, I'm just um, wanted to show you that my project is actually working before it's going to be moved over into the classroom, just in case um, something happens on the way to to school. I would like to demonstrate its operation and um, briefly maybe talk to you about how things were put together here. Um, so here it is. I mean, the main component of the whole project is the Wemo D1. It's sort of like a, a clone Arduino chip clone with built-in uh, Wi-Fi feature onto it. And um, this is a thermostat, regular household H uh, HVAC, you know, AC thermostat. Um, it's non-programmable. Um, we have a couple of switches here that um, intend to control AC voltage. In this case, I'm using it to control DC voltage as well as, you know, just to control um, continuity to certain switches. I use them basic as a switches. Um, so what we, what I'm going to do is actually use my phone uh, to control the thermostat wirelessly, right? So this is the interface of the app on my phone and um, just connect it over to my, it's connect, reconnecting to the server, it's connecting to uh, my um, wireless network. Uh, it's connecting to the chip actually. And uh, wait one second. Alright, so um, first this button is going to control the temperature and if you can see it once I'm present it's lowering the temperature uh, actually increasing the temperature that way you can set uh, temperature on your thermostat here that is there's more light now the second button which is this one is going to control the temperature and will lower the temperature that's how you set the temperature on your uh, thermostat also the, the the feature here the another feature here uh, there's a fan it's auto or on you can force it on by pressing this button this button right here when you press it the fan begins to rotate here it is it stopped I'll wait until it stops fully you press it it turns on this button controls the auto or on the fan. The next button will control because there's another feature here. You can set it either to cool or to heat and um, the button right here, the, the third button, slightly sensitive, is going to control uh, switch the thermostat into the heat mode and the uh, light on the right side of the board will light up indicating that it actually it's controlling the heat mode. Hold on a second. No, actually, it's the this button right here. Sorry, it's this button, the fourth button. I was pressing the wrong button. So anyway, when you press the button, it's turning on the light, indicating that um, it's turning the the cool off. I mean, uh, uh, um, the um, heat on. That's the heat. And if you want to turn the 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 turn it the um, thermostat to to um, to the cool mode you use the last button on here and that's the button that controls the thermostat turning it on into the cool mode it does actually work but I, I wasn't able to actually this you know change the uh, the values on the di on the display so I, uh, I was able to override the control of the thermostat and you can see it by me turning it on the heat or the cool this way but uh, no values on the actual um, display changes but if you would plug in the entire system into the wall you would uh, you would be able to override it and um, control it via the phone. Another feature, I installed it 
is a time a temperature sensor. Here it is, the temperature sensor, which also includes a humidity humidity sensor. This is wirelessly, of course, uh, connected to the board and is sending signal over to the phone constantly with the temperature. 78 degrees, 14 percent humidity. It's updating constantly and you can see it's pretty accurate. Actually it is accurate, normally it's not. Uh, it's not as accurate. But this one is accurate at this moment. And yeah, so this is my project. It's 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 working so far and everything is being fed from this 12 volt battery. Well, I mean the fan is being uh rotated at 12 volt battery as well as the entire circuit within the thermostat that actually controls the heat and the cool off and the actually turning off and turning out the fan it requires 24 volt AC but I was able to um, modify it just a little bit so that it would perform the same way using uh, 12 volt and uh, this, um, this is my project I uh, hope you guys liked it. Thank you.